Local parents want to better protect their special needs child when he's at school after a teacher abused him. They hope to send their son to class with a monitoring device that records what people around him say. But the Clark County School District says that is a privacy problem. So there's been a two day hearing over that issue. It just wrapped up hours ago and new at six. News 3 Steve Wolford has today's testimony. Attorneys for the boys' parents and the Clark County School District wrapped up their closing arguments, leaving this tough decision now in the hands of a mediator. This is J.J. Warrer in photographs provided by his parents, Britton and Joshua Warrer, who is a News 3 employee. J.J. is autistic and unable to speak. And after being repeatedly hit with a stick last year by his special ed teacher, who was later fired, his parents want CCSD to make some changes. That includes additional training for special ed teachers. It consists right now of a two-hour PowerPoint presentation. That's all the training they get for dealing with disabled kids um, and the, the, the way that they're supposed to treat them in the classroom. And to ensure J.J. is never abused again or wanders away from his class or school, his parents want him where an angel sense monitor which uses GPS to show where he is and a microphone giving them the ability to listen in on his day at school since JJ can't speak but that microphone raised privacy concerns and got a lively conversation going on our Facebook page one woman with a special needs child said she'd be okay with it and it could help prove abuse by classmates or faculty Another woman raised red flags over privacy, saying the angel sense microphone would allow the parents to hear confidential interactions. That's why the Clark County School District is fighting the wars. The district doesn't want J.J. to wear the device. CCSD attorney Daniel Ebahara cited Nevada privacy laws in his closing arguments. There are any number of private conversations that occur in schools that could potentially be transmitted out. That would cause a great deal of problems. I, I don't believe there has been any testimony regarding the educational benefit that would be derived from this. The mediator in this hearing, Kevin Ryan, has returned to Reno. He says he'll have his decision on April 22nd. Steve Wolford, News 3. Thank you.